Hey everybody, welcome back to Buckeye Barbecue. Today we're gonna to do steak tacos. I sort of stole this recipe from Rick Bayless. He's one of my favorite Mexican chefs. He calls them everyday steak tacos. They're pretty easy. We're gonna to throw together a marinade um, and then uh, get our flank steak uh, to soak in it for a little bit. I'll talk a little bit more about that as we get going. But I've got some lump charcoal in the back. We're gonna do these on Old Faithful, the Weber kettle. I've got a few Royal Oak briquettes in there as well. Uh, that will dump the uh, lump charcoal on once it's lit. So let's get our marinade going and we'll get started. Okay, I should have everything we need here. I've just got a container that I'm going to mix this marinade in. Uh, I've got some soy sauce and I'll put the ingredient amounts in the description. For now, I'm just going to tell you the ingredients as we go. I've got some uh, Worcestershire sauce. In this case, it's W sauce, the Fireshire kind, so a little spicy. So we're gonna have a lot of umami in this. We've got uh, some crushed garlic cloves. I've got about five of them in here, I think. Something like that. There we go. I've got some fresh squeezed lime juice. Always go for the fresh squeezed if you can, but I certainly have uh, used plenty of uh, jarred lime juice too. And I've got uh, some avocado oil. Olive oil would be fine any kind of oil you want as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so that's it. We're just gonna get a lid on this and we're gonna shake it really good just to mix it up. I didn't want to dirty a whisk. This will be just fine. Oh, in the bottom of the uh, um, container before I even started, I had honey in there so I didn't have to worry about getting it out of the glass jar. So there was honey as well. So there we go. So I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to take this stuff inside and I'm going to grab the meat and uh, we'll go from there. So see you in a second. Okay, let me grab my rubber holder here. All right, first thing I'm going to do is we're going to add a little bit of salt. We've already got uh, soy sauce, so we don't want to add a, too much salt here. And we definitely want to add some pepper. So. And maybe a teaspoon. Just gonna spin this a few times. That's good. All right. Now we'll give this marinade one more shake. And we're just gonna pour it in. That's perfect. Now, one of the things that uh, Rick Bayless warns you about is this is not an all day marinade. This is 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, the lime juice and the enzymes and everything will turn your meat gray if you're not careful. So this is really a just before you cook it type of marinade. So I'm gonna get this turned a couple of times, make sure we get good coverage everywhere. There we go. And we will get Matter of fact, I'm going to do this. There we go. And we'll get this lid on it and uh, let it sit here and we'll get our uh, fire ready and uh, go from there. So see you in just a minute. Okay, we're going to get these coals dumped. And I might have to use my tongs to uh, make sure. Uh, there's so many hot coals here. We'll be fine either way. Oh, that is a hot fire, which is exactly what I want for this. So we're gonna get this lid closed down. Notice I've got this uh, sort of shaped long ways, which is exactly where I'm gonna lay my flank steak. This is going to take just minutes to cook. So we're gonna let these go and uh, we'll bring you back in a little bit. Once our flame settles down, we'll get our lid on and just let it really heat this cooker up. So we'll see you in a couple of minutes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get this going. The grill is ripping hot. Uh, temperature uh, dial on it is showing 500 degrees. I did an infrared of the uh, charcoal and it was over 700. 
Uh, so this is where we want it for this type of cook. So I'm going to get the lid off and grab the uh, skirt steak. I think it's actually a skirt steak. I might have said flank steak earlier. Either way would be fine as far as I'm concerned. And here we go. So here's our meat. Been marinating for maybe 30 minutes. And I'm going to make sure this thick part is over the coals. There we go. Going to get this lid on, give it about one minute, and then flip it and go from there until we get... I don't mind if this is cooked a little more than uh, I typically like beef, uh, which is around 130. Um, so if it gets to 140, 145, I'm okay with that. With this type of uh, cook, it'll be hard to get a good internal temperature. These fibers are so loose, it's in the marinade, etc. So we're just going to let this go about a minute, and uh, I'll speed through this part, and then we're going to give it a flip. Okay, we've been just over a minute, so let's get these this thing flipped, and we may flip it multiple times till it gets where we want it. Boy, look at that. That's beautiful. Nice grill marks on there. So we're going to cover this back up and let it go another minute and uh, we'll bring you back. So steak tacos call for my favorite beer. I love a Corona. Maybe not my favorite, but I do like a Corona really well. Got a little lime in there. Okay, so let's uh, take a look here and probably flip again. There we go. Shoo! Smoke in the face. Sorry about covering that up. It's looking really good though. I'm going to take a, a quick temp and see where we are. Take it in the thick end. Uh, 105. So I definitely got a couple more minutes. Gonna give it another minute and then we'll flip again. Okay, I just tempt that and we are good. So. I'm going to grab a cutting board here. Man, that's pretty. There we go. Hope you can see that. It looks beautiful. I'm going to tent this with foil and get it inside and then we'll bring you in there for the rest of this cook. Okay, so uh, let me try to explain where we are here. Follow along. Um, this is our steak. It's resting in this foil. We're going to cut it. This is not the steak that you just saw me cook. Uh, that video and all the previous videos were about two weeks ago. And I somehow deleted the video where I cut the steak, which is sort of a big deal. Um, so this is a different steak. It's a, a flank steak instead of a skirt steak. I did everything else the same. We're going to have the same meal that we had that night, except we're using this steak. Um, so I hope that made sense. Um, but uh, all of this will be the same generally. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how we're going to build these tacos before we cut the steak. The steak's only been off maybe five minutes. Um, first of all, we've got tortillas and we've got them from Tortilla Familia. Um, they're awesome. We've ordered them now twice. Um, just ordered some for my uh, parents because they liked them so well. 
Um, they're really good. Um, they came with this tortilla warmer. You just throw this whole thing with the tortillas in the microwave for like 45 seconds. Keeps them warm. And as much as I want to make my own flour tortillas, and I will sometime, uh, it's almost hard to imagine anything beating these. So much better than what you might get at, at most mega marts and things like that. So we're going to use those tortillas um, and not sponsored. Um, but if they want to sponsor me, uh, shoot me an email, Tortilla Familia. I would love it. I love your tortillas. Uh, the other thing we're using, I'm big on fresh grated cheese for most recipes. Sometimes I'm lazy about it. However, if I am lazy, this is the best pre-grated cheese there is. Uh, someday I'm going to get a shirt that says life is too short for pre-grated cheese. But if you got to use it, I love this stuff. It really uh, tastes, feels, texture, everything like you just grated it from a block. So we're going to use this cheese. And we have some salsa. And it is sort of homemade salsa, uh, if that's the way you want to describe it. It's actually made with diced tomatoes. I threw a couple of random peppers from the garden in there. And some salsa seasoning from Tortilla Familia. I uh, decided I wanted to try it. It's really good. I actually had to add more tomatoes because it's just a tad spicy. Um, I was pretty good with it, but the rest of the family, excuse me, would find it uh, pretty spicy. Um, so this is what I use. So if you go and grab yourself some tortillas, uh, try this stuff. It's really good. The other thing we're gonna use is this uh, crema. It's Salvad Salvadoreña, if I'm pronouncing that right. Somebody uh, tell me I was wrong in the comments. That would be great. But it's sour cream. Uh, it's really good. It's, uh, it's thin, almost reminds me of what Chipotle has for sour cream. Uh, so it's, it just pours. I'm gonna use a spoon because the last time I did this, I poured way too much but uh, it's really, really good. Um, so this is sort of my go-to now, sour cream for, for most things. So we're gonna use that, and that's gonna be about it. Of course, tacos are sort of, you know, do it how you like it. If you want uh, some shredded lettuce of some sort, or, you know, chopped jalapenos, you do you. We're keeping it simple tonight, and this is the way we're gonna do our tacos. So I'm gonna let this steak rest uh, just a little bit longer and we'll come back. But I wanted to explain why this steak is going to look different than the one you just saw cooked. Everything else is the same, the same marinade, the same technique, everything. Uh, pulled it off about 128, which is actually a little warmer than I wanted to. I still think it'll be good with a marinated uh, flank steak and a taco. I don't mind if it's a little more done than I like my ribeyes. So uh, we'll bring you right back. All right, let's uh, slice this bad boy. So this is a flank steak and not a skirt steak. You'll see a little bit different shape. Uh, again, everything I did to it is the same. So I'm gonna save that juice. For sure I'm gonna save that juice. Put it off to the side there. Should have gotten my knife out before I got my hand all messy. So this flank steak has got a very clear grain running. Uh, I guess it would be left to right on the camera. So we're just going straight across like this. Um, I could cut it in half first to make those strips smaller, but I think I'd rather cut it like this first. I'm gonna go a little bit on the bias. I'm gonna do these kind of thin today. The video that I lost, I did them a little bit thicker. Either way is fine. Just felt like going thin tonight. Here in a second, I will pick one of these up. In fact, I'll do it right now. That's pretty. Man, that looks good. Uh, so I think I'm gonna stop right now and go ahead and make a taco. Um, first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and add a little of that juice back in, which after I uh, slice the whole thing, I'll add even more. 
So I'm gonna grab a tortilla from the warmer. There, the, those are, look so good. So much different than you get at the local Mega Mart. Move this back just a little bit. And there we go. Now, as I make this taco, you're gonna see a video of me trying a taco in the next clip. Uh, my ugly face and everything. Um, that is from the first steak. So I am gonna go ahead and try this, but not on camera. But the video you see next will be a different piece of steak. So I'm gonna go ahead and add just a little cheese. Again, you can build these however you want. Maybe just a little diced onion and cilantro. That would be good. Little salsa. So notice it's really just like restaurant style. And that's sort of how they describe it, I believe. So it's just kind of a tomato sauce with all the flavor. And then we have our Salvadoreña crema. So we're just gonna drizzle a little of that on. In the last video, I had a little shredded lettuce from the garden. Uh, I added it just because it was from the garden. Uh, but we didn't do that this time. So I'm gonna take a quick bite here. It's a great looking steak taco to me. Mm. <laughs> I could eat this meal easily once a week. So good. The steak, if I do say so myself, is cooked absolutely perfectly. That, just that topical marinade recipe gives it a ton of flavor. I would definitely encourage you to go check out Rick Bayless's channel, my favorite uh, Mexican chef, lots of authentic recipes. I've uh, at least done plays on several of his, and this marinade is straight out of his Everyday Steak Taco video. So thank you so much for watching. Sorry for the video mix up. Hope you got the point. So I accidentally deleted the video of me taking a bite. So we're going to start over. Going to take a bite. I've got a half eaten taco here. As I said in the deleted version, so good. Charcoal grill really makes that flavor pop. Love these tortillas and that uh, crema that I used. So good. Look for that stuff at the store. Really, really good. I'd appreciate it if you would like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. The comments and the likes really help uh, YouTube get these videos out there. I would appreciate it if you would do that for me. We'll see you next time at Buckeye Barbecue. Give this a try. So good.